Oh, we have loved today being outside with that sunshine and of course lots of high pollen counts. Things are about to change though. We've got you at 78 degrees in Winston-Salem, also Walnut Cove 80 degrees in Reedsville to 79 in Martinsville, 78 in Burlington. And yeah, the rain moves in, especially late overnight. We've got rain chances building between 3 and 7 a.m. Some of this rain may actually be heavy too. Our temperatures slide down into the low 60s to upper 50s tomorrow morning. And we're seeing those temperatures continue to warm to about 72, so near normal. And part of that is because because we'll have a little midday break, we believe, with rain chances dropping off for a little while through noon, one o'clock, and then by three o'clock ramping back up with isolated severe threats possible for the Triad as well as the foothills all the way through late afternoon. So you're looking at 56 degrees there in the foothills warming to about 70 degrees for that afternoon high and winds generally out of the south and east at about five miles an hour from 53 in the mountains to near 63 for those afternoon highs. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. We start to see some of the heavy pockets of rain moving in from Lexington, Winston Salem between 3 and 4 a.m. So rounds of rain already priming for wet road conditions before our morning commute even begins. Between 5 and 6 a.m. the showers just keep coming. Some folks might see half inch totals from this first wave and then we could talk about some thunderstorms embedded in those lines of showers too. So it may be noisy waking you up a little bit earlier than you anticipate tomorrow morning. Between 8 and 9 though those showers pushing north over the Piedmont and east out toward Burlington area out through Yanceyville. Through middle of the day we might get some sunshine in here too. That takes temperatures into the upper 60s and low 70s. It brings in isolated showers and storms for the afternoon. Some of these may become severe, bringing in large hail and damaging wind threats for late day. Temperatures, though, will stay in the 60s. It looks like we'll hold on to some of those clouds through the overnight hours. And after 9 o'clock, just showers rolling through. Some thunderstorms possible to the east out over Raleigh. But for us, we'll start to see things winding down, and that could mean some drier conditions to get you going for your early morning Saturday events. But throughout the afternoon, it does look like we'll have a couple of rounds of showers, some storms, those could become severe half inch totals on average possible tomorrow. And those of you who get those thunderstorms could see some heavier downpours. Here's the low. This is what's doing the job for us tomorrow to bring in that good rainfall. After all of the trees and plants blooming, we need a little bit of rain more consistently. Instead, we've had some drier stretches and it looks like after this, we'll have another rain chance developing on Sunday. For now, we have that marginal risk area from the foothills through the triad. So you notice the mountains are not included in that right now, but you could have some thunderstorms too just not as intense as folks are expecting to the east. So damaging wind threats, even some heavy rain included in that risk for tomorrow. Large hail a possibility as well. That would be over quarter size. And we'll let you know if that, if that develops tomorrow for you too. Early morning, those rounds of showers and thunderstorms could bring in the heavy rain and highs today. Oh, look at that. 81 degrees in Burlington, 80 in Greensboro. Doesn't that sound lovely? Doesn't look like we'll see that stick around for the weekend. Your temperatures are actually cooler on Monday into the upper 50s and low 60s in the mountains. Also, so foothills, you'll notice that temperatures will cool from these great 70s this weekend back to about 66 on Monday. Lots of good sunshine, though, and two impact days ahead for us for Friday as well as Sunday. And we're talking about dry conditions now, it looks like. I'll see you out at the Hope Run on Saturday morning at Bailey Park in Winston-Salem for a trellis supportive care. Hopefully everybody will come out and we'll have a great afternoon. But sunshine returns on Monday at 69 and 70s do too most of next week.